Is the air so close to where we saw the flow place? The ocean so close. The world makes you something that you're not, but you know inside what you are. And that question burns in your heart. How will you become that? So when I became a fashion model, I felt that I finally achieved the dream that I've always wanted since I was a young child. My outside self finally matched my inner truth, my inner self. For complicated reasons, which I'll get to later. When I look at this picture, at that time I felt like Gina, you've done it, you've made it, you have arrived. But this past October, I realized that I'm only just beginning. In my case. For the last nine years, some of my neighbors, some of my friends, colleagues, even my agent, did not know about my history. I think in mystery, this is called a reveal. Here is mine. Every day, I am so grateful because I am a woman. I have a mom and dad and family who accepted me for who I am. Many. Are not so fortunate. So when I was 15 years old, still dressing as a boy, I met this woman named T. L. She is a transgender beauty pageant manager. That night, she asked me, "How come you are not joining the beauty pageant? Not a lot of people could say that your first job is a pageant queen for transgender woman, but I'll take it." <laughs> In 2001. My mom, who had moved to San Francisco, called me and told me that my green card petition came through that I could now move to United States. I resisted it. I told my mom, "Mom, I'm having fun. I'm here with my friends. I love traveling, being a beauty pageant queen." But then, two weeks later, she called me. She said, "Did you know that if you move to United States, you could change your name and gender marker?" That was all I needed to hear. My mom also told me to put two e's in the spelling of my name. She also came with me when I had my surgery in Thailand at 19 years old. At that time in the United States, you needed to have a surgery before you could change your name and gender marker. So in 2001, I moved to San Francisco, and I remember looking at my California driver's license with the name Gina and gender marker F. That was a powerful moment. Many are not so fortunate. I think of this woman named Island Nettles. She's from New York. She's a young woman who, courageously living her truth, but hatred ended her life. For most of my community, this is the reality in which we live. Our suicide rate is nine times higher than that of a general population. Every November 20th, we have a global. Vigil for Transgender Day of Remembrance. I mean, I'm here at this stage because it's a long history of people who fought and stood up for injustice. Today, this very moment is my real coming out. I could no longer live my truth for and by myself. I want to do my best to help others live their truth without shame and terror. I am here. Exposed, so that one day there will never be a need for a November 20th vigil. My deepest truth allowed me to accept who I am. Will you? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.